Hello friends, I'm sorry, you know, I did not post a English video yesterday, uh, unfortunately, it was a very quick video that I took, so it was a single take video, so I didn't want to redo it all over again, but you know, since I got a lot of you guys asking me what happened, where is, uh, what is the story behind this bike, etc, etc, so I thought I will do a quick one. So this bike actually belongs to one of my ex-bosses uh, who actually bought it I think about seven years ago. So that's when we actually worked on the entire bike. This bike was actually one of those you know bikes which was fluorescent green and had the different kind of Yamaha meters actually these kind and it was white in color. Uh, you know the original last model meter is what this had so we had to you know slowly make it into something which was little presentable so that's what we did we actually um, changed the front mudguards first then we changed these meters because uh, he likes these kind of meters not the one which was there on this bike then we got rid of all those fluorescent green tanks and panels and we got original black panels this is actually an original tiger so if you see see the engine number is a 1l5 okay so that is uh, what an original tiger has um, so apart from that this bike is stock there is nothing much the small small touches which uh, are there like you know these rxz uh, foot pedals and then the pulsar uh, side stand other than that the bike is completely stock um, has all stock parts um, has a curry carrier this is uh, an aftermarket carrier most likely we will get rid of this uh, then yeah so in yesterday's video there was a huge uh, you know hole in the tank i'll put those pictures up here So that has gone for repairs so we will get those repaired and then what we are doing is this bike is basically going to be sold after this and unfortunately um, you know it won't be sold outside Kerala because NOC and all those things so anybody who is looking to buy this outside Kerala I'm sorry this is not going to happen um, and this bike uh, actually is being sold to buy one of those electric bikes so actually it makes me kind of sad to announce that you know an electric bike is taking this bike's place but you know these are bikes which actually stood the test of time you know when the RD was launched in 1983 at that time you know there was only one uh, four stroke bike but after that a lot of these came and tell you what this is almost as old as me and this is actually about um, now it will be seven this year seven years old i have restored this reasonably uh, that's why you know it looks presentable but the way it came to me if you compare it with this bike you will understand because these bikes actually stood the test of time they were made with the best of materials not like you know plastic all around like see everything is plastic um, so that was the thing these bikes were actually built really well so they uh, stood the test of time they actually served their previous owners pretty well so it will go to a better home and you know the thing is my ex boss also has a shogun so you know the choice was between keeping this and the shogun because keeping three vehicles uh, at a time is something which is not feasible for him also so he was being very brutally honest so i said okay i'll make it look little better i'll make it presentable so that you know the next owner would enjoy it for the years to come so the situation in this bike is there is a bit of painting which is required like you know there is a small bit of corrosion here but nothing uh, major or scary so what i'm going to do is just uh, sand this much part and the same here and then we are going to apply some epoxy primer on top of it and then we are going to paint it using 
just this much is going to be painted using a brush similarly i'll touch it here also uh, then the next thing is these l brackets i will spray paint them so there are two so those will be painted um, other than that it requires a really good wash um, nothing more than that so we will definitely give it a wash before we reassemble everything so right now what i'm going to do is i'm going to take the bike outside and then we are going to uh, give it a wash first and after the wash is done we will our goal is to take the engine out today so that we can paint the engine okay i think i have the paint with me so mostly the covers um, will be taken out uh, but the cylinder and the head i am not going to disassemble those uh, because one i don't want to buy all those gaskets again i might have a clutch side gasket so that is going to be simple plus this bike is going to get all the oil seals replaced so that is something that we will do as well but anyways we are not removing the cylinder also um, as i mentioned earlier this is a tiger so the difference between a normal rx135 uh, and a tiger is not something very huge mechanically mechanically they are exactly the same same cylinder same everything the engine number like i said is an il5 so that is there secondly a tiger uh, the switches are from the latest model because he wanted a pass switch but uh, the switch actually looks something like this like a yamaha rx switch on this um, and then these headlight stays that you see are actually black in color on a, uh, a tiger then the indicators are not like this the indicators are like normal rx indicators but the back of them back side is black then the next thing that you see in a tiger which is different is there is a tiger decal which comes here so which we are going to put on this of course and then the shocks are not adjustable i have a shock uh, from a tiger the heights are not the height of the shock is not adjustable so that's the thing and the graphics actually though it's an rx135 it has a rx100 type tank graphic so that's the only difference between the tiger and this and of course i forgot the meter the meter is actually looks like a rajdoot xlt meter and the rear mudguard okay yeah that also this is plastic in a tiger so basically a tiger was a couple of thousand rupees cheaper than an rx135 so they have done some cost cutting here and there and that's what you would see in a tiger so one of my friend has an original tiger but he also made these modifications the meter is something that everybody hated so the first thing that everyone did is they changed the meter so this one also went that route and then there are other things like you know small things like installing the carrier and changing the rear mudguard so the chrome one definitely looks beautiful that's why most of the people actually go for the chrome um, so other than that the tiger is exactly the same um, there is no major difference between an rx135 uh, and a tiger uh, so yeah that's about it so let me take this out and then we will go ahead and wash it
silencer we are going to clean properly we are going to remove the flute we are going to remove everything i'm going to get a brake cleaner to clean everything properly and then we are going to burn the flute and then polish the silencer and fit it back the rear mudguard actually is not that bad you know all you can see is surface pitting that will go when we you know polish it properly so that is that uh, other than that obviously we are changing the handle so nothing to be done there uh, the outer tubes are something which are already painted but i'll have to repaint them because they are scuffed a bit so it's not going to be these i already have outer tubes which are kept in storage as you can see these are the outer tubes which we are going to use so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to scuff it and then spray a coat of paint on top of it and then fix those um, hubs and all look reasonably good so i'm not going to touch that because then the restoration is going to get bigger and bigger that is not the plan the plan is to make it as small as possible so now the next biggest challenge is i have made the entire area dirty and you know you can hear the little mechanic is up so hmm? okay so she is saying something to me so i have to go but before her mom wakes up i have to clean everything or i'll have to sleep with the dogs today in the dog cage so let me focus on that i'm going to clean that next is going to be the painting of the engine so when we do that i'll make a video of that as well and i hope we'll get more viewership in english if we do then obviously i'll create more english videos so it's up to you guys who are watching this english video to make sure that it has more views than the malayalam video so definitely we will spin off a new channel and create a new channel just for the english folks and possibly one for the hindi folks as well so as you know that i can speak very good hindi uh, so that's not going to be a challenge so yeah that is going to be the next one we are going to put this bike away right now because the next option you know plan is to actually go ahead and clean everything and then start preparing it for uh, paint the engine and rest of the parts which are like right now in different colors so yeah that is the plan so we'll see you guys in the next one hope you like this video if you do like share and subscribe and remember this video has to get more views than the malayalam one okay so i'm counting on you guys all right then see you in the next one bye bye